doing you could pay hit sustainable article as labor party unveils 1234 man campaign cancel welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel as the labor party unveils its 1234 member presidential campaign council its general its director general don yokupi has slammed the presidential candidate of the all progressives congress apc asiwaju bola Tenubu, and the people's democratic party pdp atiku abubaka according to him the candidates are flawed as they are not sensitive to balance and equity he said that the People's Democratic Party is a product of unjust and dishonorable process that clearly violates the equitable rights of the entire southern Nigeria and the desire for balance in presidential power, already enshrined in the constitution and history of that party, which was shamelessly subverted by subterfuge and indeed anything built on injustice, ungodliness and evil conspiracy can never stand. As for the All Progressive Congress, the presidential candidacy is fundamentally flawed through the abduction of a skewed and insensitive Muslim Muslim ticket, despite our objections across religious lines in a highly religious sensitive country like Nigeria, and at a time where all reason calls for maturity, fairness, equity, justice, and balance for the good of the country. Nigerian youth, by this new unprecedented demonstration of political vibrancy, have signaled have signaled to the failing and failing established political order and transactional political class that they are tired of the leadership failure that has brought nigeria the giant of africa to her knees today the arrogant corrupt and clearly selfish selfish practices of these old order politicians and other parties who believe they can always buy their way into power and always compromise every institution have not been spotlighted and stand totally rejected by this new class of Nigerian voters. The large crowds of highly disciplined, self-organized, self-funded, self-motivated, and clearly trans-ethnic poli political religious groups and vocal association of youths simultaneously calling for a new political culture and new leadership personnel across all the country's political regions in a sustained, orderly but insistent manner is a clear call and wanting to us as a country to sit up, shape up, and do what is right before it becomes too late. I did tell you, eh? See, APC, PDP, both these people, they don't, they don't mess up. Sincerely, they have both shot themselves in the leg, and I want to put it to them that they are very insensitive. The APC that is supposed to be doing everything in their power to make sure say this i don't even i'm not i'm not even sure if they have little respect because for me the apc they don't roll themselves for ground you understand pdp was in power before apc came with all their plenty plenty promises that nigeria will be better a dollar to a naira a naira to a dollar i mean and uh, you know security will be you know educational sector and all of that and they'll, they'll be paying some people money all the plenty promises at the end of the day i cannot point to how many they have done i cannot on top of that they came in with division like a very big long knife that they used to divide nigeria along ethnic and religious lines and it's not it's not supposed to happen now the apc hmm? apart from the fact okay fine they picked a southern candidate they picked a southern candidate that is frail we have a sitting president that he, he tours, he goes on medical tours like Sina Water. He they go UK, they go London Hospital, which is not supposed to be. He's always out of a country at one point, as in, in a month. He, but I say in a month, he'd always travel or every three months. And all the expenses, where they go? Now for our nation, our treasury, now our treasury, they bear these expenses. Now you now bring, you now give a... A presidential candidate or give your ticket to a presidential candidate that is not sound enough that is not healthy enough that is fragile and frail that is fragile and frail i mean frail so and as if that is not enough people are still coming you know complaining of how they gave their presidential candidate to somebody who is looking very frail and fragile they now did the worst they now picked a muslim muslim ticket as in it, it did not even pick the Muslim Muslim ticket as in vice presidential ticket too. I mean vice presidential candidate immediately. You can remember that 
Tunibu used the placeholder before he finally came out and picked his vice presidential president, um, candidate who is in the presence of Kashim Shetima. So they were able to do testing the microphone for like three to four weeks, two to four weeks. Nigerians came out and was like, you know, this thing is not right. So why raising the same V-ticket? Even me as a person, I follow talk, say, ah, no, make not leave these people low. Maybe it's a placeholder, you know. If they are bringing the real vice presidential candidates, the person will certainly be Christian. But I was surprised. In fact, no, scratch that. I was blown away. They always blow off my shock absorber when they maintained the Muslim Muslim ticket. I'm like, how? See, I PC you. And you know what they going to bust my Zadamo? It they bust my brain. Say, these people, they are still sounding like, you know, they have Nigeria straps around the, around the little finger. Like, anything we didn't talk like this, now we go do. We are not going to, you know, oppose it. And I'm saying, or oh, more, that these people, they don't know that things don't change. They are thinking that it was 2014 that they came and threatened us that, oh, if a Northerner did not win, hell was going to be let loose. Where good luck. Good man. Good luck, Jonathan. Wash your hand. They say, no, 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 no. I do not want any blood of any Nigerian. You man, wash your hand. Je, 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 je. Come out for them. Even though it was clear that the election was rigged. Now APC. Come, come outside. They talk this thing. Now, to even call make matters worse, PDP was a party where, you know, if you want to talk about APC and PDP, before now, I did tell you, people were like, you know, take us back to the time where, you know, um, the rice was like 8,000 naira a bag, dollar was, you know, more than just a little over 200, or was it even 200 naira to a dollar at that time? Uh, what's it called? Take us back to when uh, you, go, you go go school, you go go school, four years time you go graduate. Take us back to when things were better. You understand? Where they were referring to Nigeria as the giant of Africa. PDP come, come, come scatter the table. Pata, pata. PDP came in. First of all, we have a northern Muslim pres uh, president. PDP f gave their ticket to a northern Muslim. Telling, you know, the rest of the population to go and die. There's nothing people can do about it. While we are still, you know, we still the boy. They talk, say, I don't understand. They can't do the worst. They can't do the worst. Eh? They can't do the worst. Look at what is going on in PDP. PDP, why did, was APC able to snatch power from PDP? Was it not because PDP was corrupt? Now, we can't they hear say that corruption where, you know, they accuse PDP of ABC, you did baby stage. Now, the, the corruption, don't they, you don't be the ancestors of all corruption really for PDP. PDP is not serious now. To me, PDP is even one of the less opposition parties because of the crisis they are doing. Nobody can put their differences aside and work together. Eh? They are sidelining the South. So we cannot, we cannot come and say, okay, people, they sideline a particular section of the country already. They never give their mandate to. And they want to come and, you know, rule over us. It's not possible now. Could they work? It can't work. So at the end of the day, PDP and APC to me, they know even, they know even wish. And I will so love it. Eh? Same if we come outside, vote our conscience. I don't tell you, I'm going to play them, play smart on election day. You go, if you see PDP people, if not PDP people, people there for your polling units, hail them. Tell them, say they vote for article. Vote for your, vote your conscience. Nobody will go, it's a secret ballot. If you see APC people, hail them, do the same thing to them. So that I want to see the shock on their faces when they realize, say, we don't smart them. All right. So